are you guys? So, we'll try. I need to do something with my hair. I did something with it earlier, but it's starting to, it's evening time, okay? It's time to wind down. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here, you guys, um, and tell you that I am making my shrimp salmon, salmon, however you say it, Alfredo, because I think everybody says it differently. And um, I'm doing something a little different. Usually I do shrimp Alfredo, but I love salmon and I should eat way more of it than I do. And my husband loves it and it just gives extra to the meal. So my kids really kind of don't like it, but they love shrimp. So I'm gonna do the salmon for me and my husband and I'll show you guys um, the salmon I'm using. Usually I use fresh, like go to the store, they cut it for you and everything like that. I find that it's better, but I try when I don't have time to go to the store I normally buy it fresh from, I try to go and get it as fresh as possible from whatever grocery store that I know it's going to be at least decent. So um, I'll show you what I'm using today. It'll be the first time I'm using this type of salmon. It's, I mean, it's still salmon. It's just not as fresh as I usually buy. And then I will show you guys kind of what I put in my shrimp Alfredo. Um, and it'd just be kind of quick or whatever, but I just thought I'd come on here and tell you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy If you like these kind of videos, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe something that you like that you might want me to try below that I can cook up or something um, And if you like these kind of videos, remember to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time right. so This is the salmon I'm using and if you hear anything loud in the background, my kids are playing Roblox I don't know what they like about that game, but they do. So this is the salmon I was talking about. Um, I got this from Bilo. Like I said, I usually always buy it fresh. They cut it in front of me. But I wanted to try this. It is like seafood, I guess, stuffed is what it says. And I'll open it up and show you. Um, and the directions on the back, I thought it was pretty neat how it says you cook it. You basically leave it in this. You preheat your oven to 400, remove the overwrap and lid. And you stick this tray on a baking sheet and you basically cook it for 20 minutes. So I thought that was pretty cool. You're not really going to dirty up any dishes. And I just thought this would be tasty with the shrimp Alfredo over it. So let me open up this uh, package so you guys can so kind this of see is the inside. what it looks like. I'm not sure what this is. It says it's stuffed with seafood, possibly maybe crab or something. I kind of couldn't tell. I see some cheese in there. And maybe some peppers. I'm not sure what this is, but it didn't say on the box either. It just said seafood filling. But I got two fillets in here that are filled with this seafood filling, and I'm going to cook one for my husband and then one for me, and then top it with the um, shrimp Alfredo. So when I do my shrimp Alfredo, I basically get like my regular bow tie. This is what I like to eat cook it with you can use any type of noodle that you want to that's your preference but I usually use this because I feel like it's like so much easier so I have my noodles on and my pot over here so I'll walk you over here and they're just over here getting ready to boil I use the old hack of putting a wooden spoon over so it doesn't boil over you know if it really well sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I have my noodles over here boiling and then once those are done I will drain those and put everything else together and show you I guess how I do everything else So I have defrosted my shrimp. Basically what I do first before I cook it, um, kind of to give it a little sear on it, is that I put it in a strainer and let hot water run over it so it basically defrosts it, I guess, so that when it cooks up it's not so watery. Um, so I've done that and now I'm going to season it in this bowl while my noodles are still boiling. So I like to use um, garlic and pepper seasoning. This is from the Dollar Tree. A lot of my seasonings are from the Dollar Tree. I do have um, actual brand ones, but I do like the ones from the Dollar Tree as well. So I like to use um, garlic and pepper. I like to use regular black pepper. Um, this one is okay from the Dollar Tree. I probably prefer uh, actual brand of pepper, but it still does its job though. And then I like to use some char uh, char chopped garlic or some type of minced garlic. I love garlic and I just like the way that it goes with my Alfredo. And then table salt. So I'm going to uh, put all this in here, mix it up, and get it ready to throw in the pan. So I got my 
my shrimp in here. Um, I also threw in some Old Bay seasoning. I forgot to show you guys. So, um, and it smells so delicious. I'm going to go ahead and mix in my Alfredo sauce. If you hear Raya, look, hers right there playing. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and mix in my Alfredo sauce while I'm still waiting on the salmon. Mix it all together and see if I need any more seasoning. So, I'm using Classico, which is an always roasted red pepper Alfredo. And then roasted garlic Alfredo. Again, I told you guys I love garlic. So, I'm going to mix these in. Add a few more seasonings if I need it. And then show you guys the finished so look. The last um, thing that I'm going to be putting with this... Uh, I forgot I was cooking shrimp alfredo is this market side three cheese garlic knots and so you get eight in here this is the first time I've actually used this um, I love having any type of garlic bread with any type of alfredo um, I don't know what it is but I do so this is what they look like and I think they look so delicious so I got this I picked it up and it says that you bake in the bag so I thought that was pretty cool you got to bake it for nine minutes so I'm about to throw this in there now because the salmon's about done I just thought that was pretty cool um, that you bake it in the bag. So, first time for everything. So, I'm going to try this right, you guys. So, this is the salmon. Oh, my gosh. This looks so delicious. The top got nice and crusted right here, the filling. And this cooked perfectly. So, you always want to check to make sure that you've cooked your fish uh, to the temperature that needs to be. I believe this needs to be 165 degrees. Um, that's just to make sure that you're killing any type of bacteria or anything that may be in the fish. That's very important, guys. But... This looks so delicious. I'll have to taste it and see what it tastes like. But this is my Alfredo. And the bread is still cooking, you guys. I'll make sure I show you everything at the end. But oh my gosh, you guys. I, mm, mm. You need to try this. This is so quick and easy for mothers who are always trying to hurry and get something nice and healthy for their kids and their family or whatever. But I'm telling you, this right here is so right, guys, good. I'm going to go here and show you real quickly what it looked like after plating. Um, I know that this looks weird, but I cut mine in half and gave it to my husband because I cannot eat. I probably won't be able to eat all this a whole lot at one time. I'm one of the people that snack throughout the day. I don't know what it is. I just can't eat a whole lot at one time. So that's why that looks like that. I cut mine in half to give to my husband because I knew I couldn't eat it all. But this, you guys, was phenomenal. I tasted it. I've kind of been tasting everything since I was cooking it. This is like a crab filling, and it is delicious. I picked it up at Bilo. And it was just fantastic. These are really good. They taste real garlicky, garlicky, which I absolutely love. And again, the shrimp Alfredo is so good. This is one of those meals that it looks like you took time to prepare and to cook. But it was so quick. I mean, I'm telling you guys. And it's delicious and it's healthy. And you're getting tons of essential vitamins at the same time. This is, I'm telling you. I can cook if I try. You know what I mean? But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.